We need a Unfortunately, many are they that are just stationary. Many are they that have been gripped with an attitude of apathy and have become complacent just with having a good religious service. But God is saying, no, I need you to get up and go. I need you to be willing to engage in my special mission because there's countless souls that are dying on their way to a Christless eternity. There are some boys and girls who need to hear that Jesus can save. Is there anybody in here who's made up in their mind that, Father, listen, whatever special mission you have for me I'm willing to go if, if you really had your way you would have been just like Jonah because really Jonah's attitude at the end of the day though the text doesn't necessarily say you just got to look at his temper the tone his attitude his indignation Jonah's attitude towards God God you can send him all to hell oh, yeah, Jonah, Jonah, Jonah. he got so upset that even after he preached in chapter number four, he sat on top of a hill to watch and see if God would send down fire and brimstone. Jonah says, the last thing I want you to do, God, is save them. And these are the very folks that God ends up saving. Because the very folks you write off, the very folks you think God will have nothing to do with, the very folks that you think, here it is, God couldn't even save, God says, they're the very ones I want. They believe God. They believe God, which implies that they confess. They place their faith and their assurance in God. They believe God. Salvation would never occur. Conversion would never happen. Transformation would never take place until you believe what God has said. And not only believe what he has said, but you believe in the person of God to the extent that you surrender, you submit. You yield, you give yourself to God. They believe God.